Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to show you how you can create the Stripe Express Checkout Payments page. With the Stripe Checkout Express Checkout Payments page, you can either embed the checkouts into your website or direct customer to a Stripe hosted page to easily collect payments for your, for your products. If you have a digital product that you are selling, you can create an Express Checkout page and use and generate a link. The payment link you generate can be sent to your customer or you can even use it to run paid ads and direct traffic to it and tell people to download your ebook. While when they make attempt to download your ebook or get the ebook, the Stripe payment gateway will pop up and they will make a payment. So with this Express Checkout, you can either embed it on your website or with the payment link you gener you, you've been able to generate, you can use that directly to send to your send to your customer or use it to run paid ads. So this is how it looks like. So let me show you how it looks like. This is how the, the Express Checkout looks like. It can be embedded on your website or you can use it as a link. So the first thing you need to do is to to do it, you, the best thing you need to do is to create a Stripe account. If you don't have a Stripe account, create a Stripe account and log into your Stripe account. Stripe is free to use. So, so create a Stripe account. I have logged in into my Stripe account. So the first thing you need to do to do this, if you are a creator and you want to use Stripe to collect payment for your digital product, or if you, if, if you have an ebook that you are selling, this is for you. If you have a course that you are selling and you want to collect payment, so it's either you gen this payment link you want to generate is either you embed it on your website or you you send the link to your customer or paste the link or use the link to run ads and let people click on the link. Once they click on the link, they make their payment and they get the ebook you want to sell to them or the courses you want to sell to them. So once you log into your Stripe dashboard. The, the next thing you need to do is to go to more. Click on this more and click on click on product catalog. So that's what you do. You click on product catalog. You add a product. So add the product you want to sell. So the product I want to sell for the sake of this video is Google Ads templates. If you have any course you want to sell, you can do anything. So add this. So what you need to do next is to put the description. Put your description. I believe you know the description of your product. Then you upload an image. Upload an image here. I have an image that I want to use. So they are asking me for my password. So once you upload, upload the image, the image has been uploaded. So it's asking me that is it a reoccurring payment or one of. So if your cost is a reoccurring payment, if your cost or your product is reoccurring, you can leave it as reoccurring. But for the sake of this video, my product is one of. So I put it as one of. Then let's say my cost is fifty pounds. Then you click on add product. So that's my product. That's the first step. The second step is for you to now create the payments link, the payment. So you can add a coupon here. If you have a coupon, you can add shipping rates, you can add tax rates, and you can add, add price table. You can add it to that. So we have created our product. The next thing you need to do is to go to, go to home. Go to payments. Let's go to payments. We can and click on create payments. So once you click on create payments, you see payments link here. So can you see? Click on payment link. Once you click on payment link, so this is it here. So this is telling you to select type. Is it a product or a subscription? So it is best for e-commerce or or software as a service. This one, choose customer choose who to pay, best for tipping, 
donation or pay what you want. So I'll choose the first one, so products. So that's that. So let me choose. So you come to this place, you click on find product. You know, we have created a product already. So you just choose your product. Can you see Google has templates? You create and select your product. You can even go as far as adding another product here. You can even go as far as adding another product if you have another product. Or you create your product from scratch at this point. You can even create your product, add new product, and create it from scratch at this point. So that's what you do. So can you see we are having the look and feel of our, of our payments link already. So the next thing you need to do is to do you want to collect customer address? For, for me, I don't need my customer address in this, in this context. Require customer to provide their phone number. Do you need to require customers to provide their phone number? If you need it, just tick this. If you need this, also tick this. You need your address. But for me, I don't need it. So I won't tick it. So move down and go to advanced option. Advanced option are add custom field do you have custom field like questions you want to ask them like other questions you want to ask them like text or any question you want to add them to fill up to get more information if you allow promotional code allow business customer to provide tax id so if you have any these options are for you to fill up if you have any other things that you want to add up to your payments page so the call to action the call to action, come to this place. This is a call to action where we have pay here. You can come here and click on pay, book, or donate. But for me, I'm selling the digital product. So I will leave it as pay and let people make payments instantly. So let's leave this as pay, as call to action. Don't change it to book. So the next thing you need to do, scroll. Once you are okay with this, move up and go to after payment. So after payment means what do you when people make payment for your course do you do you want do you want the default stripe page to show for them or so so if you want this then you leave it show confirm page leave it as this this so definitely once they make payment it is the default page that you you use but in the sense that you in in an instance whereby you want people to pay for an ebook or your digital products, and once they pay for that ebook or digital products, they will be redirected to a Google a Google Drive where they can download the ebook you are selling to them. You can just click on replace replace default custom. You can just choose. You can just choose do not show, just click on don't show confirm page and redirect people and paste your Google Drive. Just paste your Google Drive link here, then you are good to go. That's what you will do. So, but if you are okay with the Stripe thank you or confirm page, just leave it as it is. If your case is that you want people to be redirected to a website whereby they will download your course or download the product you are selling to them, then you can you can put the website link here. Then you click on don't show confirm page and put the website link here. So if you want a post payment invoice, that is create an invoice PDF that you want an invoice to be sent to them, then you can create this Stripe charge 0.4% of transaction total up to a maximum of $2 per invoice. Me, I don't want this, so I will not choose it. So once you are done and you are satisfied with everything, you click on create link. Your link will be created. So can you see? So this is your link. This is the link that you can use to collect payments. So one thing you need to do at this point, so this is how it looks like. It is very, very active. All your card, card is accepted. Apple Pay is accepted. Google Pay is accepted. And everything is entered here so you can copy this link and use it to run ad you can copy this link and use it to run ad on facebook on google ads and people will click on it make payments and get the ebook so you can even use this qr code you can even use download this qr code and use it to do anything you want to use it to do people will scan it and make payment for your product 
So if you, if you want to embed this on your website for the sake of, oh, you don't want to use this Stripe link and send to your customer, you can, you, you can just click on buy button if you want to embed it on your website. So it, this code is the code you embed on your website. So you can, you can change it. You can change it to only button or you can change it to card alone. You can do a lot of customization here. So let me show you. Just copy this code. Once you copy this code, embed it on your landing page or embed it on your code or send it to your web developer or anything. And you get something like this. This is the preview of what you get. And so that's how you can create a Stripe Express checkout page with ease. I believe you have been able to gain value in this video. If you have any questions concerning this video or you also want me to do any, any video concerning any payment gateway that you have on your mind, maybe a square, I have a video on Square or PayPal or anything. Just drop a comment in this video. I'll, I'm going to pick up the comments and I'll create a video on it. If you are here to subscribe to this YouTube channel, I will encourage you to do that right away. Like this video, share this video, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video.